Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have Devin from Moonstone Mamas with me, and I'm gonna show you guys her channel real quick, and then we're gonna get started looking at gemstones. Um, I tried the gemstone tester and I failed big time, so uh, Moonstone Mamas was nice enough to identify this necklace for me in the chat comments of my YouTube video. So I asked her to come on and look at some other stones with us. We are not experts, we are not specialists, but she knows way more than me. So um, I'm gonna give her the screen and let you let her tell you about her channel real quick and then we're gonna get started. All right, let me grab the screen share here. Well, thank you so much for having me. Really awesome opportunity. Um, we, on my channel, we do a lot of jewelry unboxing, jewelry identifying. I love gemstones. My passion isn't so much jewelry. It's the detective part about it, finding out what it is, seeing if I could test it. And if I am completely stumped, I take it to my jeweler. And like she said, I am not a gemologist. I just have handled quite a bit of stone. So definitely do your research. I'm just excited to be here to help. <laughs> awesome. So you guys definitely go check out Moonstone Mama. She's got tons of content and she does have her mom on the channel from time to time, which I think is amazing. Um, so yeah, go check her out. Lots of good stuff. And I know there's a lot of people watching that really enjoy jewelry and I'm doing my best to help you. But honestly, like her channel, she's much more knowledgeable. You can learn mm -hmm. with me, but if you want like, more knowledge dropped, definitely go subscribe. Okay, so let's go back to the double screen here. And I'm gonna keep it on the close up view if you're okay with that. That way you can see the jewelry better. Mm -hmm. And I've got a tote full of jewelry from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I'm gonna start with the two items that I asked about in my video that you mm -hmm. were able to kind of give me some information on. Even if you wanted to put me small, I can, and so that you're the main focus is on um, you know, I can see a bigger picture too. How do I do that? I don't think I know how to do that. Um, is that there it is. Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right. So this is, and I'm still learning how to hold. So this is the, the one that I was curious about. Yes. And you said that it is? Agate. So Agate. it's basically rule of thumb and i have learned that if you really don't even know what a stone is just call it agate because that's basically the basic name for a stone is an agate and um i can tell you right off the bat that it's dyed um because agate i mean sometimes can come out of the earth looking like that but that is a hot limey green mm -hmm. um you can see the banding for sure on it that it is dyed chemically or by heat so Still a really awesome piece. Yeah, I was hoping it was gonna be something really, really fancy. And to somebody that would, that is their item. And you never know, just depending on the person, how bad they want it. Yeah, it's, it's neat. And it kind of looks like it has some uh, rust here. So I don't know, do they put fire to them? Yeah, uh huh? Like it got burnt? Yes, maybe? they heat it to dye it. Okay, so there's, a, yeah. So that just confirms what you're saying. So that's cool. And I want to say special thanks to one of my subscribers who sent me this little black um, prototype, I think is what she called it. She said she gave me directions to make a bigger one. And I'm like, this works for me. So How awesome. um, yeah, <laughs> that was really nice. Um, the second item that I asked about was this. And so it's really cool. And it looks like it's been like hammered. Yes. Um, a lot of people collect this kind of jewelry work. Um, it's tricolored, so it has stainless steel, copper, and brass. And that one in particular has a gemstone, so it does go for a little bit more money. And that right there is another chemically heated, um, dyed slice of agate made to look like amethyst quartz or amethyst. Stunning. Okay. okay. Now, this piece, it doesn't look vintage or anything like that. The clasp looks very just modern. Um, but it's definitely a stone of some sort. Oh, stopper. Show lovely. stopper. Lovely stone. Lovely necklace. It appears to me just through video um, that even the little rosette beads are carved stone. Stunning. Love it. That right there to me 
is a money maker piece, in my opinion. Okay. So Maybe. if you had this item, what would you list it for? I would probably list it on my Etsy between $45, $55. Really? Wait, okay. down. All right. That's great to know. That's a four. Now, would my gemstone tester, it wouldn't pick up stone like this, right? I'm sure that it would. Um, Having a gemstone tester is great, but it's going to narrow you down to what kind of category something's going to be in. Okay. But if you want to know something for sure, I definitely recommend taking it to a pawn shop you trust, taking it to your local jeweler. Be I able do to have a jeweler that would definitely help me. Um, I'm going to dig into this bag and I have not looked in here, so I really don't know what we're getting into. Um, Delicious. <laughs> this is a brief. Let me uh, put this behind it. And I do not have nice nails, so sorry. I don't know. Can you tell what? I know it's hard probably from the video to even. Tiger's eye. <laughs> oh, it is? Okay. So yes. that's tiger's eye. Now, yes. would and you can see maybe it better on the outside because it's more flat. Right. So that's tiger's eye? Yes. And tiger's eye has a beautiful flash. You're going to see it's one of the more common stones you're going to find in costume jewelry. Okay. Um, because it's really affordable. It's really inexpensive to make and it's affordable to sell. <laughs> so it, it's, it's more of a bread and butter item. Yes. Okay. All right. Now this bracelet has, it says $3. So Ew. it's stones, but it's just costume, right? Just um, I, I mean, stone is a stone. Someone has literally harvested that stone. They have sanded it, carved it. I mean, I would consider putting that on my Etsy for twelve to fifteen dollars. Yeah, because it it's a weird tag. It's not like a regular um, right. tag. So I mean, it's it's still a nice looking piece. It's beautiful. Okay. All right. Um, and again, so these items were already pre sorted when I bought them by the gal that I bought them from. And mm -hmm. I actually talked to her the other day, and I'm like, oh, I'm actually like selling stuff and doing really good. She's like, I'm so happy. I hope Yay! you make thousands of dollars. And I'm like, you are like the nicest person ever. Um, now this one, could these, I know that you told me that pearls, mm -hmm. I don't, but she said these were stones. So, um, could they be pearls? look like pearls and a quick way, if you're not all up into putting I'm not putting it in my mouth. mouth. <laughs> is rubbing them together. If they feel gritty, it does feel gritty. Then they're real pearls. Another mm -hmm. telltale to tell is pearls are cold to the touch and they'll and stay. It, it is knotted. Yes. That's another good way too. But they're black. So what does that mean? They're Tahitian pearls. Um, most likely. Uh, they have kind of like a sheen over them. Um, they may be dyed. They may not be, but they look like Tahitian pearls. Um, they're more like a peacock kind of uh, color to them. And those are more. Yeah, they kind of have like an iridescence to them a little bit. They're like a certain they're, angles. That's a good one. That's a good one? Yes. Like what's good? Um, twice. I have a, depending on the size of the pearl, the millimeter, because mm -hmm. that's how are identified. Um, okay. I have a long strand on my Etsy for about $300 right now. Oh, really? Yes. But because this, one, this one's not very long. It's still, it's a, it's a pretty long one. Uh, considering that a sweater uh, length is between 16 and 18 inches, that maybe be like uh, 20, 22 inches long. Um, you know, you're going to get some money for it. Now, this if it's true, Pearls. This pearl has, can you see it has like a band, like a ring? Mm -hmm. is that so they may be lower quality pearls, um, but that right off the bat can tell you immediately that they're real pearls. And this one has like a, a pimple. Mm -hmm. It's got a little a pimple, a pimple. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, a little lump. You see it? Yes. Yes. So that that's still something that a pearl could have? Yes, absolutely. Because okay. they're formed inside of a clam or harvested in that way. So, so this might be decent. Yes. So I, if I take this to my jeweler, he'll be able to tell me for sure. 100%. Okay. okay. Cause I know we're on a video and you know, it's, it's a lot to ask. <laughs> <laughs> now this has a vintage class. Mm -hmm. And again, I haven't looked at any of this stuff. So I'm kind of excited. Um, can you, let me see if I can get, the, see the clasp there. 
Yes, a barrel clasp. Barrel clasp. Okay, that's a barrel clasp, guys. <laughs> True. Um, cold. It's definitely a stone. Mm -hmm. um, Green stones are pretty hard to identify over camera. Uh, this would be okay. one of those ones that I'd love for you to stick on your gem tester. Okay, I'll do it right now. Category. Um, it's in the jadeite. Okay. And spinal, spinal. And what's nice about that one is it, it only hits topaz and we know it's not topaz. Mm -hmm. So would that mean, what color is, is it spinal, spinal? I don't know what that is, but I can tell you if it's in the jadeite or nephrite, uh, that most likely it's jade. Okay. Um, that's a, it's common to find more common green jade. Uh, okay. the, of the other colors, that would be one that I would consider taking to a jeweler as well. Okay. But there are tons of helpful hints you can find online to identify Jade, but I always trust a jeweler other than just doing a hot Google. Yeah. If the magnet's not sticking to the clasp. But and sometimes you can find in the clasp, I've found 14 karat gold clasps on stuff. People yeah, it's not sticking mm -hmm. to it. Um, so I don't know if those beads might be something in between. Quite possibly. Okay. So is jadeite good? Does that have any value? Yes. Uh, jade has really great value. On a level of gemstones, jade's pretty high up there. It's good luck in the Asian community. It's how they represent. Okay. So it's it's sought after in my opinion. Okay. So that's a good one too. Ooh, I'm doing pretty good. Hey <laughs> um, now this one again just has kind of a, I don't know. When I see that, I'm like, it's probably not worth anything, but I, I'm learning that that's not true. So this is purple okay. and I may have to. So to me, right off the bat, over the camera, it looks yeah. like dyed abalone. Those larger beads look like, oh, actually, no, it doesn't. See, how funny it is the change between the white and the black. Okay. That looks like it. amethyst. You think it's amethyst? I'm... I'm Sorry, I'm trying to get the lighting. Yeah, Let me take it on the meter. Yep. The meter. Yeah, I was like, should I get out the gemstone tester? And she's like, yeah. Yes. And a magnet. <laughs> Another telltale sign to determine if something is semi-precious, uh, metal, sterling, gold. It is not magnetic. Okay, so it's going up to the the topaz and the spinel and the jadeite. Okay. So... It's just one of those things you would, I mean, if you really. I would probably just call this one purple stone necklace. <laughs> I think it's, it's probably get away with purple stone just saying amethyst. Even though it doesn't register under amethyst? Because amethyst is a quartz. Amethyst and quartz are hand in hand. It kind of looks banded right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's probably a a banded amethyst agate. Okay. 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 Um, this is knotted in between, but it's purple. Interesting. So, <laughs> um, Could it be, does it have any kind of dimpling, any kind of brown um, matrixing or marks on any of the little beads not really I'll, I'll put the gemstone tester on it we'll just see what it does it looks like glass um it's in it's moving i'm not holding it steady just a second sorry it's kind of hard to get it to so it's quartz amethyst citrine cypress emerald naf Free. It's under all of them. It's hitting them all. How about that? <laughs> but it's definitely a stone. I mean, it's 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 cold. You know what I mean? But glass is cold too, right? Yes. Okay, so that one's unidentifiable. It's probably dyed, right? Now, yes. this is just a little bracelet mm -hmm. with different... Love those. And those are really good sellers on Etsy for me. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like it's missing a stone. Easily fixed as well. Not for me. If you're into that. If yeah. not, you make a righteous craft lot one. <laughs> okay, I'll put this in a crafter's lot just because I, I won't. 
I won't fix it. <laughs> um, this one is really pretty, pretty neat. Um, I don't see a clasp. It looks like it's a slip on, but it's got really, um, I'm wondering if it'll be better on black or white for you. So I can see right off the bat that the square stations are tiger's eye. Okay. Yep. I, I think I can recognize tiger's eye. I think I'm learning. Yeah. I'm learning. That's pretty easy to identify, I think. Yes. Um, let me get it on here for you. I think it shows better on the white. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the other ones, it's hard sometimes to tell. It looks possibly like sandstone or some kind of common granite stone in between um, that have been tumbled and polished. Looks like that larger one. Does it feel like a stone? Because it kind of looks like enameling, like some coisonne beads, yeah, which just means it, it might be painted. Something. Okay. It's hard to... It's hard for me to tell. I'm so not good at that. Um, let me see if I can hold it up. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I thought that was really pretty. So it's that's just a mix of different. I would probably list that on my Etsy for about 22 to 26 bucks. Okay. All right. Um, now, is this a vintage clasp? Let me see if I can... Can you see it? It looks like either an artisan clasp or a vintage clasp, most likely artisan. Okay. Um, like someone has done it themselves. Um, very neat piece. Very fun. Love the gemstones. It looks like we have like some bronze stations as well. Mm, I, I don't know. If it's more of a pewter color. Okay. Um, pewter is very heavy. I'm seeing more. Yeah, it's not heavy. I'm seeing more of a silver tone than a bronze. Okay. It's hard to tell, and it does look like more of a bronze in the. Beautiful stones. So, again, would that just be like a multi color gemstone mm -hmm. necklace? I mean, can yeah. I do that generic with the title when I list it? Absolutely can. And if you wanted to get real fancy, you can yeah. list some of the names of the stones if you know them. But same as before, I would list it between $22 to $26. Okay. Because of the ferret weight of the stones. And now I, I sell on Etsy, but um, I don't, I haven't sold a lot of stuff yet. Mm -hmm. So jewelry does pretty well on Etsy. Yes, that's pretty much primarily what I sell on Etsy. Okay. Um, does pretty well for me. That right there, um, I can tell you right off the bat that that little ornamental piece is jade. As far as the darker green ones, I'm not 100% certain, but it screams ornamental jade to me. <laughs> ornamental jade. Okay. Um, it looks like like a man maybe sitting with his legs crossed. Ooh. Um, but let's... Uh, yeah, it went right up to jadeite. So it's jadeite, right? Jade is yeah. jadeite. Yes. Same thing. Jade is a combination of nephrite and jadeite. Um, it's two separate stones, but okay. they're category categorized. So what would I call this? Jade. Just jade? Plain and simple jade. Okay, this is going up to jade, jadeite also. Mm -hmm. So the little beaded stones? Yeah. Ooh, exciting. It's another good one. Um but like right here. You can see like the the band that it's on mm -hmm. is kind of like maybe where they tied it. Yeah. A, a lot of times, depending on it. what the tie is and, de and on all of that, I mean, um, it can represent different things in the, the Asian culture. Okay. So it depends on what kind of bracelet it is. So what so, would something like this be valued at? I would say same 18 to $26, depending on the, the thing, since there is a little ornamental piece down there that looks like it's carved. Okay. Yeah, it looks carved. Okay, cool. And I remember when she gave me that, she's like, I think there's a little piece of jadeite on that bracelet. I mean, she had like somewhat of an idea of some of the stuff. She just didn't want to deal with it. Okay, so this one looks like... Um, stones that maybe went through a rock tumbler or something. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, a lot of chips are pretty common. Um, it's either a jasper or sandstone, some kind of, what kind of class does it have? Just a, it looks like somebody made it, you know? Oh. Like toggle, okay, toggle. It's a toggle, guys, this is a toggle. <laughs> I'm so clueless. <laughs> um, so uh, this could be just something that somebody handmade, yeah? Um, or, I mean, yeah, artisan made or manufactured. So artis artisan made sounds, that would be like fancy. Fancier. <laughs> yes. But if I don't know, how, how do I know something like that? How do I know how to list it? If How would I know if I would list this as an artisan piece? Everything is made by somebody. So in my opinion, a lot of things that I don't know in a generalized category, you can say it's artisan. Okay. So that's my, especially when it comes to gemstones and they don't have a hang tag or any kind of maker's mark. Okay. And and you guys, if you go to Moonstone Mamas, it, their Etsy store is linked up on their uh, channel also, like up in the, the bar, right? Yes. I think I saw it there. So if you guys want to check out what they have for sale, you can definitely do that too. And it's a great way to learn. Now this piece is definitely vintage and it looks like it's just tied here. Mm-hmm. What do you think that is? Now, does it feel pulled? Does that show it better or should I put it on white? It's kind of a hard one since it's such like a, it looks like a creamy color. Creamy, but there's like that one bead that's like white. Oh, it's over here. Right there. See it? Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. And look how it's tied. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It's knotted. Yeah, kind of. I would love for you to put it up to your gem tester. Okay. That's a good one to. I can do that. Yeah. I'm excited to have somebody do this with me because I'm like, I have no clue. Um, oh, it's, well, it's falling in glass. Interesting. And it's happened. glass? It doesn't look like glass. I mean, it's got like variation in the color. Hey. And like a crack. Huh. It's probably heat treated. It probably has some kind of spreckling, as I like to call it, through the glass. So glass and think? gemstones are pretty hard sometimes. Both of them are ice cold. <laughs> so does this have any value? Sure. I would list that since it's there's a lot of glass on there. Someone took the time to make that a graduating bead. It'd be a stunning summer, summer look. Um, now it's going past the glass. Ah, that's the thing. Like sometimes it does different things depending on which. And when in doubt, I always say when you're stumped, take it to your jeweler. Yeah, because now it's in the tourmaline and the garnet and the. Iolite, hmm. emerald, nephrite, and cyprase, or whatever. Yeah, it, it's teetering between those. So Very. It doesn't feel like, I mean, it is warming up a little, though. And it does that. I mean, gemstones will acclimate to your skin temperature. Okay. Um, I so don't know. definitely one for the jeweler. Okay, so what... Your thoughts on like there is the, like a pit. It looks like. Mm. Yeah, that's got like a pit in it. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so don't know on that one. Uh, this is the bracelet that matches that necklace. Ooh, you got this set. Is that good? And I love the sets, and yeah, that just needs more money <laughs> to list it under. <laughs> okay, so these are just stones that I'm throwing everywhere. Oh my gosh. Slippery little guys. So to me, that looks like it could either be dyed how light, some kind of dyed, or you could hit the jackpot and get some turquoise. Well, there's no, um, they're, they're not beads. They're just stones. Even better. <laughs> Um, so it's going up to the jadeite 
uh, amethyst. It's also hitting the amethyst, citron, and quartz. Okay. What did you say? I hit the jackpot if it's what? Turquoise. turquoise. <laughs> That's not on here. Well, um, turquoise has a Mohs hardness of about the same as quartz. Um, and dyed halite has a really small, um, well, has a smaller Mohs scale, like a three. So it's softness. Okay. Um, how light is softer than turquoise. Most of the time when you see a green stone, mm -hmm. very rarely if you pick it out of a gem bag, is it, or like a jewelry bag, is it, you're going to find turquoise. Well, it's, it's fine in the quartz. Oh, it, this one has a hole. I lied. They have holes. They were on a necklace. Very fun crafter one. So, um, but I, so they could be just a dyed stone or it could be turquoise. Yeah, another way to determine if it's dyed is to take a little bit of acetone, take it on a spot and put the Q-tip, the little acetone on the Q-tip, put it on there and see, leave it for like five, 10 seconds. And if there's any kind of pigment on the tooth or the mm -hmm, Q-tip, then it's dyed. Okay. Uh, and what's acetone? No polish remover. Oh, nail polish remover. Okay. Well, I'd have to buy some of that because I don't wear nail polish anymore. But okay. Okay. I've got um, semi chrome to test for bake white. No, oh, right on. Okay. Um, can you see that? Sort of. So this seems more modern. Mm hmm. So. It looks like the pink beads are a cat's eye, which is a man-made stone. Okay. And do me a favor and see if those small cylindrical gray beads are magnetic. The gray beads. Okay. Um, the gun metal and yes. color. Okay. They are. So um, it looks like a, a man-made piece. Um, and what I mean by that is it's um, hand manufactured. Um, so that is magnetite. Okay. It's really great for grounding if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, if you're into the metaphysical properties of stone, but it's a man-made stone. So okay. is the cat eye down there. So, so the pink is registering glass mm -hmm. and the white is registering as some type of stone. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get a really good look at the white ones. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. I mean, they don't, I don't know. But it looks like magnetite, cat's eye, and possibly a quartz. So where's the cat's eye? The pink ones. It they has going stone. Or they're, they're just going glass. Yes. So it's to man-made. It has yeah. the kind of fraction. Yeah, that look. Okay. Okay. All right. Um this is just a like a choker type necklace. Mm -hmm. It does have a barrel. <gasps> a barrel. Hey. I'm getting good, guys. A barrel. So now is every barrel vintage or do they have reproductions that are barrel that are not vintage? Sure. Same as screw back earrings, same as things. Um, but I mean, you're going to kind of have to look at the piece and gauge it yourself. And like I've but said, this before, looks modern to me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look vintage, but what do I know? To me, that looks like it's kind of hard to see over the, yeah, I would say an agate. <laughs> um, when in doubt, ag it out. <laughs> so there's kind of like a, a minty green color. Beautiful. And that it went up to the jadeite, but it doesn't, it's more of a clear color. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? Um, you know, it's harm with a presidium gem tester. It's just going to narrow you down in that category. Yeah. So, but to me, this isn't an expensive piece. So, right. I could just call this like a, a, gemstone like choker necklace <laughs> it looks like a standard like sweater necklace for sure but nonetheless i would still list that for like minimum 18 dollars on my etsy really yes huh. it's a gemstone. you never know who's gonna want something it just seems so like boring to me and i know maybe 
like you said, it would probably look nice with like a really like tight, like a uh, fitted sweater, you know? Yes. And it does, um, the, how it fits together does mm -hmm. seem like well-made. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So this is, um, the clasp is broken. But it's kind of a lime color. Ooh. So to me, that kind of looks like a quartz. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, let me, uh, I'll stick the thing on it. It's like teardrop shaped. Ooh, teardrop. Hey. Okay. Um, yeah, it's falling into the, it's falling into about every category. It's one of those. <laughs> I'm like, I really pay dollars for this thing. Quartz is in every single mineral. So you're going to get a little piece of quartz in everything. So that kind of makes sense. It's definitely cute, but it is broken. So um, it would need repaired. And it looks like it might be missing a stone. Or maybe mm -hmm. not. Maybe not. I think they flip back and forth. I think they're just flipped back and forth. It moves. So Super cute. what do you think about that one? If it's broken, can I still sell it broken? Um, it depends on if you want to replace the clasp. No, <laughs> I don't want to replace the clasp. I mean, Hey, if we're being honest, no, I'm not going to, I mean, my husband, I mean, sure. good stuff like that. If you wanted to, you can make a gemstone craft bundle and that right there is money as well. Okay. Um, the magnets sticking to one side, mm -hmm. but not the other. And I think this has like an additional little clasp on it. Okay. So I could put that and this together. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's one more in this bag and then I think we'll end this video and then come back and do another bag. Do you mind? Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. This feels not cold. Oh, just you think that's just plastic could quite possibly be <laughs> i definitely recommend if any it's question not, it's showing a, it's showing it's registering well um let me show it up real close again let's see it touch it feel it put it, between it. it. it feels like plastic but it's registering as a stone and it wouldn't register as a stone if it was, and she's got it in the stone bag and she knew more than me. It looks like just a, a quartz. Okay. Well, it's broken. So I could just throw that in with the, it just doesn't feel as cold as the other stuff. And sometimes Jade is always going to be ice cold, ice, ice, ice cold. Okay. Okay. Um, other stones will heat up. Okay. You know, this on your, your hand. Okay, so I'm going to put all of this in. That'll be just like a crackers. Fun bag. Fun bag, crackers. Okay, let's do one more, and then we'll go on to the next. And I've already, like, pulled this apart again. <laughs> so I think this is really cool. And I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but for some reason I really like this. Mm. I don't think it's anything super fancy, but I like it. You got to figure that a length of something is going to make the difference in price. Something okay. obviously smaller, um, smaller gemstones are going to be less expensive. That piece right there has length and it has a bulk style gemstone on it. I don't think I can get it over my head with this hat on. <laughs> Let's try it. So it hangs to about right there. That's a pretty good length. I just think it's cute. It's very cute. Um, if I had to guess, just looking at it because of how cool. green it is, I would say it's probably dyed how light. And how light's not on here either. It's going up to the topaz and then the jadeites. Is it spinal or spinal? Do you know? I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> it has that. like um, a crackled look to it. Mm -hmm. Now is the crackle brown? Is the crackle black? Can you see it? Yes, that is dyed halite. Dyed halite. Is that good or bad? 
Um, it just like Tiger's Eye, it's pretty affordable. It's easily dyed, easily manipulated. Um, so you're going to find it most commonly in a lot of costume pieces. Okay. And those are beautiful shaped cabochon shaped stones. So I'd cabochon. still, um, I would say, you know, uh, 15 to $18 on Etsy. Okay. All right. Okay. Everybody, please go subscribe to Moonstone Mamas. Let me uh, pull up your, and I will link it down in the description of the video, but here it is. And you. you can see she knows what she's talking about way more than me, but we're going to continue to go through some jewelry, but I'm going to keep the videos at about 30, 35 minutes so you guys don't get too like bored. Anyway, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. All right.